Raw as a athlete. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that this year I am co-running the Baoxing Durian Festival with Lindsay from Year of the Durian, and I'm really excited about it. I went to the festival last year, which was the first year of the festival, and I've been to the Baoxing Durian Farm where it's held uh, for the last two years, and I am, I go out of my way to make that a part of my year every year now. It's such a special experience. So I just wanted to, I just wanted, oh. so I just wanted to tell you a bit about um, what happens at the festival, what to expect, what's going on. It's a vegan festival. Um, you're welcome to come if you're not vegan, and you know some people go off the property and get other food if, if that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. But um, but it is a vegan event. We only serve vegan food at the festival, and most of it is is fruit and um, but, but there's vegetables and and there are some cooking classes also. Um, so. Personally, I don't cook food at all, but uh, but it, it, there is definitely cooked food at the event, and um, but it, um, yeah, whether you're raw vegan or vegan, you're going to have an amazing experience there, um, as will anybody else that comes, as long as you love durian. That's the, the basic common denominator. So we go to outings um, throughout the eight. It's an eight-day event. Um, the basic cost is 700 US dollars for the whole time, including accommodation, food, and 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 uh, a lot of the outings. Some of the outings have extra costs, um, and that's just the way it is because not everybody goes on them. So we didn't want to charge every attendee for those events if, if not everyone can go. So the there is an outing to Monkey Beach, which is a beautiful beach. There are monkeys on the way. It's in it's in a national park. It's a remarkable, um, just beautiful little place to, to get away. We take durian down to the beach and just um, enjoy, you know, a good half a day down there, playing in the sun and the water and, and eating our favourite fruits and uh, and enjoying each other's company. We get uh, we do a hike up Penang Hill, which is a huge um, jungle hike. So just uh, it's kind of like half a day's walking, um, a little bit less than half a day's walking, and uh, that's that's a remarkable experience too. Beautiful views and just experiencing the going through the jungle, seeing lots of farms. We will visit other durian farms other than Baosheng Durian Farm because we think it's great to just see what else is out there and um, and know that there are other places around doing 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 great things in uh, with fruits and vegetables and. Uh, yeah, and then you'll 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 appreciate um, all the beautiful things that are at the Baosheng Durian Farm as well. The we'll go to a tropical fruit farm and get a guided tour through there and and have a buffet, fruit buffet afterwards. That's a that's a fantastic experience. Um, there'll be fitness classes, uh, fitness activities, sorry, scheduled um, daily, mostly in the mornings. But they'll prob I think there's also some. The schedule's still. Uh, in its last stages of getting finalised, but I think there's afternoon, maybe afternoon runs as well. Uh, so there's running, there's high, high uh, heat classes, high intensity interval training classes. There is yoga every day. Um, so those those things appeal to most people, I think. There is there are daily talks. Um, there are this year, last year we had a lot of durian talks, and that was great. Um, but we want to get a bit more diversity into the event this year, and we've got. We've got local people, we've got local farmers coming in talking about um, their, their farms and their experiences and we've got local, someone local coming and talking about, like a, a, local, a local person that runs kind of uh, in, in the tourism industry is going to come and talk about the culture of Penang and, and a bit about Penang. So that's really cool. There, we will of course have talks about durian and um, and uh, yeah, I'll be giving some talks. Lindsay will be giving some talks. There'll be there'll, there's, there's there's daily talks. Um, they'll be on interesting topics, and it'll be diverse. There are cooking classes a few times through the event. There, the durian is is basically available anytime you want to eat durian. We will have fixed meal times, but um, you can also eat outside of those times. There'll always be food available. The accommodation is um, there are villas which are kind of nicer and a little bit more expensive, um, or there is the basic accommodation that you get for the 700 US dollars for the eight days, which is um, there are three people per room. Uh, last year we had four people per room, 
and you can certainly fit a lot more than that in the room. The rooms are, you know, have a, a good amount of space in them. But this year we've only got three people per room, so it's, it's more, there's more space, uh, a bit more privacy. There, there's a shared bathroom for, the, for those um, shared accommodation and showers. Uh, the water is fresh from the local river up in the mountains, so it's pure, clean water. Um, there's no industry up above there on the mountain, so it's, it's clean. The, um, we'll have unlimited durian, but we'll also have unlimited, basically like we have, we get whatever fruit is in season, but there'll be mangoes, there'll be watermelon, there'll be tons and tons of coconuts, more coconuts than you've probably ever seen in your life. And they're delicious. <laughs> the coconuts and, and other fruit on Penang, Malaysia are amazing because they're, they're um, you know, most, most fruit there is tree ripened. Uh, people there understand fruit. So they they eat it themselves so they they want it to taste good they know what tastes good and what doesn't taste good so um yeah so it's nice to go to a country where they actually appreciate and understand fruit and and serve fruit that's um that tastes amazing so there'll be papayas and um there'll be bananas varieties of banana you probably never had before and uh, they'll, they'll there should be some jackfruit and some chompadak early season chompadak is probably going to be available um, we may be able to get some Rolinias or Biriba, which is the Spanish word for for Rolinia. Uh, what else? Well, there is, um, we're going to go on some other outings to, to, um, we're going to go on some other outings to like uh, this, there's a temple that I have not been to, um, but Lindsay's organising that one, and she's been there, and it, it's beautiful, remarkably beautiful place. So go check that out. Um, basically, there's things happening every day. It's all optional. If you want to just chill out and eat durian, that's fine. If you want to come along to the outings, that's fantastic. And um, we're just basically there to have an amazing time in company of motivated people who are interested in looking after their health and making a difference to the planet um, over some good durian. It's not just good durian, it's the best durian in the world and I don't say that lightly because I've had durian in many countries. I run my own event in Thailand which, which has world-class durian served there and you know the average durian served at Baosheng is, is up there with the best um, in the world and, and the best at Baosheng can't be matched. It's, 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 it's good stuff. Um, yeah, come along, learn a lot, have the time of your life, grow, share, live, love, learn, and I hope to see you there. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.